everyone! It is Monique, more commonly known as Shimmy Shay, and I wanted to give a big hello to all of my shimmers. If you are not currently a shimmer, you can just go down below and hit that subscribe button and become a shimmer today. Today, I wanted to talk about some of the mistakes I first made when I first learned about shifting. We're just gonna go into all of the mistakes I've made because I wanna shit on myself. Anyone who's made the same mistakes, it's not your fault. I'm just making fun of myself and I'm sharing the mistakes I've made and how I fixed them so that if anyone is making the same mistakes, they will know how to fix them. Yay! Mistake number one. My first mistake. First things first, the very first time I heard about shifting, I forgot that it was called shifting. And I thought it was called reality switch. <laughs> so in my very first script, it's actually called reality switching script. Which like, honestly, I, I kind of got the gist, at least. I, I understood something. But yeah. So that was the thing, which I'm, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably know it's not called reality switching. It's reality shifting. I, I learned very quickly what it was actually called. <laughs> Mistake number two. I thought I had to be in a starfish position and this was so uncomfortable and like I did get close in the starfish position. I'm like just laughing because I'm trying to remember myself. Like, not trying, I do remember myself very clearly actually in my bed like, like that face down as a starfish because i personally am a stomach sleeper most of the time and i would just be like mm, face down like one two three four. like what come on really you don't have to land a starfish you don't even have to stay completely still which i found out after i like along with the information that i didn't have to stay in the starfish position i also figured out that i did not have to stay still and that i could move as much as i wanted focusing on my body focusing on my body held me back so much it held me back so fucking much the more i focused on my body the more i was grounding myself in this reality because when you shift, you were shifting your awareness, you're shifting your mind, you're shifting your thoughts. You were not shifting your hands, feet, and toes, and the little tingle that you feel on your forehead. Unfortunately, I know it's bugging you, but it's not gonna shift with you. Another mistake I made was kind of putting my DR onto a pedestal. Because for me, a shifting symptom I get is I'll start remembering random shit about my DRs. Like, I'll just start remembering things about my past, then I'm like, why do I know this? Or why am I thinking this right now? And then I realize it's connected to that reality. And that's a memory associated with that reality. And that's why I have that memory. Because of this, it would make me very excited to shift before I had ever shifted. And I would get really hyped up and start romanticizing the fuck out of my like desired reality. Forgetting that the people in there were real, complex people with 3D fucking feelings. They were no longer characters and forgetting the fact that I'm going to have to deal with uncomfortable in real life situations that sometimes I'm just not gonna wanna be a part of and it's gonna be overwhelming at times. I fix this by just like kind of focusing on my relationships here, friendships, family, all of that, and just kind of doing some like self-love. This was actually the last really big thing that I did before I ever successfully shifted for the very first time. Trying to copy someone else's journey. When you see a shifter, and you're like, oh my god, they successfully shifted like this. They did this, this, and this. So I'm gonna do this, this, and this. You don't have the same mind as that person. That's not gonna work for you. It, I, it might. It might, actually. I shouldn't say it's not gonna work for you, because it totally fucking could. But, like, everyone has a different mind. All of our minds work different. And that's why everyone's shifting journey is so different. But that's why I love, like, hearing about people's shifting journeys, because it's, like so cool how everyone's mind is different everyone's shifting journey is different because all of our minds are different and what are we shifting our minds that is the whole underlying piece another mistake i made is i used to do a different method every single night i would do a method and be like oh that didn't work for me new method give methods a chance obviously if you use the same one for like a month then yeah that one's probably not gonna work for you honestly the way that I would recommend doing methods, and yes, you can repeat methods or go back to methods uh, any time that you would like to in this, 
but pick a method like let's say for example you choose to do the Alice in Wonderland method tonight and it doesn't work so then tomorrow you do it again and then the day after that you do it again none of those shifting attempts work I recommend trying a method for two to three days taking a one to two day break and then trying a new method in the next two to three days and you can mix methods you can create your own methods like there's just so much that you can do but do not give up on a method because you tried it one time and it did not work because there are so many methods that i've used in the past that i tried that didn't work and then i used them again and then they did work so just because it doesn't work for you one specific night you're not in the mindset for it that night and that's okay it's frustrating but it's okay because you have every other night to do it and that method could be the one for you and you could have just pushed it to the side because oh it didn't work for you the one time it's like if you go to the store and you buy a shirt and this one time that you buy the shirt it's made out of a crappy product so you're like you know what, I'm not gonna buy anything from that clothing brand ever again, even though all of their other shirts are great. They're fine. It was just the one shirt, it was a defect. But now you just hate the whole brand because you're like, their one shirt was absolutely horrible. Or another perspective, it's like if you made a really big mistake this one time, let's say it's the only mistake that you've ever made and someone sees that mistake you made and they hate you for the rest of your life. They're like, they did this really horrible thing. They're a terrible person. And you're like, that's, that's one thing that I did. How does that define me for the rest of my life? Same thing with shifting. It can change throughout time. Your mind changes. Our minds are changing every single day. So yes, some methods that may have not worked for you in the past could potentially work for you now anyways i hope this was helpful and i hope that you guys are getting closer to your drs or more of you have shifted than last video and as always comment how your journeys are going and drink water mm -hmm.